Wasser. Der Anfrage Herrn Gallagher. Thank you, President. In this contribution, President, I will deal with the uh, macro situation. Uh, and I am extremely concerned, as indeed are many other members, and, uh, about the actions of the Commissioner and her determination to cut a deal with Iceland and the Faroes at any cost. The Commissioner informed the Committee of Fisheries last week that any deal with Iceland and Faroe Islands would be better than no deal. Uh, and I referred to last week's meeting, and I wouldn't have done so because it was in committee, but for the fact that the Commissioner, immediately after the meeting, issued her prepared script, even though uh, the meeting was in committee. So I feel that I am quite free to speak about that. I want to remind you, Commissioner, that you have a particular responsibility uh, towards the European Pelagic Fleet and the coastal communities that depend so much on this important uh, industry for employment. The bottom line is no deal is better than a bad deal. Such a bad deal would tie the hands of this sector in Europe for many, many years when you and I and many others are, are gone. I would like to remind the Commissioner both, that both Iceland and the Faroe Islands they have increased their overall share of the catch from 5% in 2005 to 52% in 2013. And the Commissioner wants to reward countries who are prepared to do that. They have set their own bilateral quotas outside the remit of the coastal uh, states, which include EU, uh, Norway, uh, Iceland, and the Faroe Islands, uh, and Greenland. It's very hard to understand how a commissioner can be prepared to reward unsustainable actions of Iceland and the Faroe Islands uh, by fishing what, over what she describes as double-digit quotas, uh, and addition to these huge unilateral uh, mackerel quotas that both parties have set for 2013, the Faroe Islands have this year uh, withdrawn from the Coastal States Agreement on anglo scandia herring. Mackerel is, of course, we know mackerel is a uh, straddling stock uh, between the territorial waters of the coastal states. And due to the large increase in mackerel stock, it has expanded now both within Iceland and Faroese waters. And that I accept, and I will deal with it. But ISIS the International Council for the Exploration of the Sea, have confirmed that the core spawning area for mackerel is off the south and northwest of my country, uh, of uh, Ireland. Uh, and of course, since 2010, the coastal states have met at least 14 occasions in various parts, but to no avail, at the most recent one in Clonakilty in Ireland. It's also important to, to note that in 2010, that EU and Norway concluded a long-term uh, agreement on mackerel management for the North East Atlantic. Uh, and I also took the opportunity to discuss the owing situation when I met with the Norwegian European Affairs Minister. And I compliment Norway on the stance which they are taking because of now we're depending on the Norwegian authorities, on the Norwegian minister to defend the rights of the EU pelagic fleet. And that's sad that I have to make that statement, but it's a matter of fact. Uh, furthermore, and in direct response to the overfishing of mackerel by Iceland and the Faroe Islands, uh, this Parliament and the Council fast-tracked a very weak document which came from the Commission in relation to sanctions. And we fast-tracked that, and I, as the Rapporteur, strengthened those trade sanctions. 99% of the members of this House voted in favour of that over a year ago. And the Commissioner has decided, while she says it's important to have good relations between the Parliament and the Council, the Commission has ignored, has ignored the views of 99% of you and I and every other member uh, of this House. And I welcome, Commissioner, I have to say, your initiative to implement the trade sanctions against the Faroe Islands in respect of anglo scandia herring. But you cannot do the same uh, in relation to, uh, to, to the mackerel. Uh, I would appreciate if you could provide this information. I posed a question to you last week, didn't get the answer, about uh, the uh, effects of this. You said the consequences were positive, but let's know what they are. Uh, can the Commissioner state if she will once again consider trade measures should the current negotiations fail to reach a satisfactory agreement? We all agree with the results of the latest scientific data, an increase in the stocks of 64%, uh, and of course we'll have more details uh, of this in March uh, of this year. Uh, these offers to, of 12%, 11.9%, can the Commissioner confirm that these offers have been made 
and they do not have, despite what you say, Commissioner, they do not have the support of all of the Council. Uh, and indeed, after our meeting the last day, uh, Council members told me very clearly that they do not favour uh, what you are doing. So did you, did you discuss this with Norway prior to entering into this so-called uh, so offer? So in conclusion, Commissioner, you must think of the two-tier approach. When the fish are in Norwegian, uh, Icelandic and Faroese waters, when they are in there, then they are entitled to it, and when they move out, they are not entitled to it. So the two-tier approach is the answer, and I believe we can resolve the problem if we adopt that approach. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nach dem Berichterstatter und dem Verfasser darf ich nun der Kommission, Frau Kommissarin Damanaki, das Wort geben. Thank you, President. Let me start with a proposal on deep sea fishing. This is a very important